Obaseki, the son's commissioner arrested by Interpol over alleged $2 million fraud. The Edo State Government yesterday said the purported arrest of the commissioner for the arts, culture, tourism and diaspora affairs, Osaze Osewinge Eru, over an alleged $2 million fraud has nothing to do with the government or Governor Godwin Obaseki. In a statement issued by Special Advisor to the Edo State Governor on Media and Communication Strategy, Kruzo Osagi, it noted that the government could not confirm the alleged arrest of the commissioner. He said, We learned about the alleged arrest of Osaze Osawenge Eru from the social media and we are unable to confirm either the arrest or what might have led to it. But we can confirm that whatever the issues might be, they are personal and have nothing whatsoever to do with the Edo state government or Governor Godwin Obaseki, the statement added. Osawenge Eru was reportedly arrested by the Interpol in France for allegedly laundering $2 million. Besides, the Edo House of Assembly yesterday advocated removal of the suspected chairman of Eastern West Local West Council area, Patrick Aguinide, over unremitted internally generated revenue, IGR. This followed consideration of the reports of the panel of inquiry constituted by Governor Baseki to investigate allegations of fraud levied against the chairman, which the governor forwarded to the House. Leader of the House, Roland Asoro, moved for a resolution to enable the committee of the O to consider the report. Representative of Eastern Northeast 2 constituency, Emmanuel Okudua, seconded the motion, saying, considering the report at the committee of the whole, the chairman presented fake figures to the panel. He also said that the panel found the chairman wanting for under remitting the council IGR into the state government coffers. The panel said Agunede was allegedly remitting 4.5 million naira, while council remitted 7.6 million naira within the period he was suspended, noting also that the acting chairman remitted 9.1 million naira to the state government between October 7th and October 30th this year, among other infractions. Meanwhile, the Edo Council of Traditional Rulers will on Thursday, January 2nd, 2020, embark on fasting and prayers to see God's intervention in the lingering crisis between Obaseki and National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adams Ushomole. The news agency of Nigeria reports that Obaseki and Ushomole have been embroiled in protracted crisis which has polarized the party in the state. None also reports that the crisis between them and their supporters have continued un unabated in spite of intervention from the leadership of the party, governors and other way many individuals in the country. A statement issued by Usman Abuda, spokesman to the Otaru of Awuchi, Alaji Aliru Momo in Benin City yesterday said the royal father enjoined Muslims in his kingdom to continue to pray for peace in the state. Abuda said the monarch while briefing members of Otaru in council on the recent meeting of the State Traditional Rulers Council, presided over by Oba of Benin, Oba Iwari too, also urged them to join in the prayers. Hmm, Nigerian politicians are, and corruption, they are just like five and six, you know. Why is it that it's only our people who they go abroad or they just... In, arrest them for one thing or the other in an allegation of corruption here and there. What is the problem? I'm not sure we've heard about all these uh, uh, you know, uh, politicians in other countries arresting you know, them just like this. Corruption. We know there's corruption everywhere, but the rate at which corruption is really raging in this country uh, is something else. It's really something else. It's something else. It's something else. Because the you know, system has not really been put in place. They are still going through all this a uh, crude way of monitoring doing things and that's how we see that a lot of them get away with all of these things now the government of Edo state is denying that they don't know anything about it that is the personal issue of course they are going to distance themselves from such a thing corruption here corruption here corruption here at the end of the day these are the people who of course it's still innocent until proven guilty but with all of these things 
they will be complaining about uh, Yahoo boys. They will be complaining about uh, youth who are not ready to do anything. They will be complaining, oh, the youth are lazy. But in most cases, of course, we are still going to give the every uh, you know, the benefit of the doubt that is innocent until proven guilty. But you are hearing all of these things. Even in Nigeria, apart from the fact that he was arrested in far away France, in Nigeria too, these, these are the people who you think that, oh, they are supposed to know better that you have, you know, giving them the mandate to be able to secure the government, to be able to lead the people are right. But what do they do? It's all about their personal interest. Everybody just going there, you know, let me just take one or two things. Let me just take my own. Let me just take my own. And at the end of the day, that's just what you are going to be hearing. You know, corruption here, corruption there, corruption here, corruption there. At the end of the day, they will not do anything about it. It's just that, you know, when you are not in their good book, that is when they will want to put more effort to do as if they are doing a, a kind of thorough investigation. Like what uh, the government is saying of a uh, those, uh, those state government is trying to distance it, itself itself from the whole thing that they heard from a uh, what is it called from a uh, social media and all of that as a government uh, as uh, as a, you know on the side of the government does it mean up to now they've not been able to get the whole truth to get the source of all of those things they are trying to say oh even if uh, it really happened the the governor has nothing to do with it. The government, uh, the governor has nothing, and the government has nothing to do with him. That is a personal listen. <laughs> very, very pathetic. That is what is playing out, and that's why you see everybody wants to make it. Everybody just wants to anyhow. Even the ones that do, they will say, oh, they are not uh, into all this uh, fraudulent, or they are not into rituals. But what they are doing is even worse. The ones that do not have opportunity to get to to get on how to take from the government coffers, they want to do go. Different, there are different ways or look for any crook means just to get rich. Now, nobody will question you. Where did you get the money from? Nobody will question you. How did you make your money? Uh, what everybody wants is just, oh, you have made it. They will even sing a song that, oh, if you don't have money, hide your face. Hide your face. In this kind of, in this age and time, moral is not a, what we are even promoting. You know, they will just tell you, who that won't help? Who that won't help? When people who are at the end of affairs are involved in this kind of a thing, what do you expect from, you know, people who are looking up to them? What kind of legacy? It's as, it has always been. It has always been. It's not really a new thing. One of the Buari too, Buari uh, Alice too, the one they arrested in, that was going to Malta, uh, one of the countries in, uh, what do they say, Caribbean countries. He was arrested in the UK and they found out that the document it was uh, traveling with you know was fake and they found two hundred thousand pounds on him two hundred thousand pounds on him before he was deported nobody said anything you know it's only handed on social media and you know yeah uh, i say uk's uh, government or go uh, in the in the united kingdom that was where it ended nobody saying anything at that level it is just the normal thing that has been happening and they'll be telling the you, you are doing something different and you are telling people to do, you know, to do the right thing. You are not doing the right thing, but you'll be uh, encouraging the youth. But they are seeing you. They see what you are, you do. If they don't have opportunity to get to where you get to, they will just look for other means just to make sure that they get rich. Even in the first place, they don't even get to put things in place that even the masses can really fall back on. Nothing. It's just the survival of the fittest. Wow, someone is even making a, a comment here and is very laughable. He said, this is the handwork of Oshumole, with little understanding in this write-up. They are trying to point fingers at Obaseki, having connection with the money laundry. Of course, a lot of people will be insinuating many, many things. If really they found money on somebody, is it the the Obaseki that, uh, you know, they, they saw the money with Obaseki or the, man, the person confessed that it was Obaseki that sent him? Of course, they want to try to relate. Oh, you know, things have been happening concerning Ostromole and uh, Obaseki back and forth. You know, one of the APC chieftains was, uh, you know, threatening that he's going to spill the bean, the secret between them. Ostromole spill the bean, you know, the secret of Ostromole. You can imagine all those kind of a thing, you know. But that's been said, it's a different case entirely. If the man really he was arrested, definitely he's going to explain his, himself better and whether we like it or not, they will definitely trace the whole thing, whether it is related to the Edo state government or is related to the to the governor, they will definitely find out the whole thing. But as it is now, but it's just really 
embarrassing and disgraceful for us to be hearing this kind of a thing from our government officials. You know, it really, you know, goes a long way to tell the world, you know, of how they have been perceiving us. And it's really kind of confirming the whole thing. How do you expect them to respect even common citizens, not to talk of people who are, you know, at the helm of affairs involved in this kind of a thing or they are being, you know, all of this kind of a thing are being heard around them. You know, what do you expect them how, on how to treat a... The, com uh, the average Nigerian. It's very, very embarrassing. So guys, uh, let's keep our finger crossed and let's see what will happen at the end of the day. Leave your comments below and